Heather, um, clearly the, the question that everybody has been asking really since you and Helen won that fantastic second Olympic gold medal in Rio is, are you going to carry on? Are you going to go for a third Olympic title? Um, no, I, I won't be, John. I've uh, made the decision that I'm going to retire, hang my rowing oars up um, as of today. And yeah, so I won't be going to Tokyo defend my title with Helen. And you won't be going through another four years of hell on the water to, to get there? Uh, no, exactly. I think I've been incredibly fortunate to have had the, the rowing career I've had. Um, I've been very lucky to have kind of met the people, worked with the coaches I have, and, and especially with Helen and Robin, formed the partnership that we've had for the last six years. But um, yeah, I've decided that I think I've probably reached my peak, achieved all I can in the sport, and it's probably about time I, I kind of focused on my military career for now. I mean, how difficult a decision has it been? Um, it's been a tough one because I think it's very difficult to walk away from something that that's still going well. Um, we were still winning, we're still enjoying it, we're still, yeah, loving everything we're doing together. And um, it's not that we were kind of hanging on to Rio or anything, like every, everything had kind of been going really well. But I think I, I just feel that I've probably achieved all I can. And um, I think I probably knew quite quickly after Rio that I'd, I'd kind of had enough and done all I could but um, I didn't want to make the decision while still within the Olympics um, I wanted to make sure I kind of stepped away from from the Olympic bubble and also from rowing for a bit to see if I kind of missed it and certainly with the, the team now back training and um, building up to Tokyo and kind of focusing on the next Olympic cycle I'm yeah I'm, I'm not missing being down on the, <laughs> the water in the early mornings at the moment but must have been a hard decision to take, though, bearing in mind what you've just said and of, of what we've witnessed over the last eight years. Yeah, it, it, it was a hard decision to make, but um, I think it, it was the right one. I, I took my time to make sure that it was the right decision and spoke to Helen and Robin about it. And um, obviously my, my decision impacts them, but it doesn't have an effect on what they decide to do either. So. I mean, any indication about what Helen's going to do? Because I think a few people were thinking, well, if maybe one decides to stop, the other might as well. Um, no, I, she's very much kind of making that decision herself and it's important that we make, make the decision individually. Obviously, it impacts each other, but it's an individual decision. I think Helen's going to take her time and um, she said she's going to have the year away, but I, I can't answer those questions for her, unfortunately. But, um, because that's what you did, wasn't it, after, the, after, the, after 2012? You know, you were in effect away for 12 months and you, were, you, were, you went into an operational area in Afghanistan. And in a way that kind of cemented the, the wonderful story that was Rio, that you had been away, but you were able to come back and, and focus and, and get that and retain that title. Yeah, I think after London, I knew very quickly, I think we, we both knew even before London that we wanted to carry on to Rio because we'd only been in the sport and at the elite level for two years and there was so much for us still to learn. We, we hadn't been world champions, we didn't have the world best time, we weren't European champions, there were still lots for us to achieve. Um, and lots for us to give the sport and to learn from the sport. Whereas I think after four years, I kind of feel like we, we've, we've ticked all of those boxes and what would be my motivation to go on for another four years? And yes, I could have another year away from rowing, back, focusing on my army career and then return again. But I, I just don't know what my motivation would be for a third time round. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd be going for gold again, going to defend the title. but. Um, I, I'm not sure I have the same drive as I did four years ago and you, you need that drive you can't go into something half-heartedly uh, like that and you do put everything else in your life on hold for, for those four years so um, I'm not getting any younger and uh, there's other things I, I want to do and certainly my military career I've been very lucky to to keep the two going together side by side but at some stage I've got to focus on on that a bit more and I think the time's come for me to, to give my military career a bit more of a focus. I mean I guess there's not been any pressure from the army in either direction. No not at all and to be fair like they've said they would support me to Tokyo if that's what I wanted to do. Um, I'm very lucky with the yeah the Alarm Elite Sports Programme that you have that opportunity to, to have a military career and a sporting career but um, I feel for myself it is about time that I kind of gave myself 100% to to one job rather than splitting my time between two. I'm sure the army will be delighted about that but there's going to be a lot of people in British Row who again I'm sure are very disappointed you know from the from Sir David Tanner down but simply because you two have just been the most magnificent uh, examples to everyone else in the team really with your dedication and your spirit and of course your success. Oh thanks it's I mean we've been very well supported as well we've had great role models who've gone before us and 
Um, the team we've been training alongside for the last six years have been a great team and I think we, we've been so the fortunate ones who've got the results um, when it's kind of come to the big competitions. And, um, but I'm still going to stay involved in rowing, at what degree I don't know, but certainly yeah, with the, the Army Boat Club, um, I'll kind of get involved there where I can. And, um, I'll like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think as well, like, rowing is a great sport and, and all the kind of after dinner talks I've done and school visits I've done since the Olympics, I kind of talk about kind of rowing being the ultimate team sport and it is. There's, there's so much you can learn from it and you've got to work together to, to go in one direction and to go quickly. And um, There's so many yeah, lessons you can learn from, from the sport. I think it, it's great. You don't have to be good at it, but it's a great fun sport. And I certainly got involved in rowing not because I wanted to win Olympic medals, but because I wanted to enjoy the lifestyle, have a good time, meet people. The social side of rowing, which I maybe haven't enjoyed in the last few years, and I'll go back to that now. But um, yeah, that's why I started rowing, and I haven't forgotten that.